sometimes rare things happen. And many recognize and celebrate how incredible it is that just the right circumstances came along. But sometimes these moments go overlooked. This might be the rarest thing to happen this season and no one is talking about it. What is the probability of a brother and sister winning back-to-back -back races in the World Cup and has it ever happened before? This season, Ivo Niskanen has been very good in the World Cup. In fact, it's looking like this will be one of his best seasons in his career, with already three podiums and two victories, which is pretty impressive for a guy that has food and sleep as his two main hobbies. Nevertheless, Ivo's amazing shape gives him a chance to repeat his 2020 season, which was his best performing season in the World Cup. And even more exciting because the Winter Olympic Games are just a few weeks away. On the other hand, we got Kerto Niskanen, with a standout performance when she won the 10km race in Lenzerheide, making it her third ever win in the professional ranks. Beating the strong Ebba Andersson when she outmatched everyone in the field except for Kerto Niskanen. After seeing the Niskanen siblings winning together, the question left in my head is if this ever happened in the World Cup before. Meaning family members winning on both the women's and men's side in back-to-back -back races. And after scanning through many years of statistics on the FIS website, I found one other time this unlikely madness had happened. And it was all the way back in 1984, when a husband and a wife took home the gold in two consecutive victories being the best on the men's and women's side at the same time. A historic event that maybe would never happen again. Until 38 years later, when Karto and Ivo Niskanen got the victories on both the women's and men's side in Lenzerheide. Now, if this occurrence only had happened once before in the World Cup, then really, just how unlikely is this event that transpired? Well, that would be difficult to answer with an exact number, so we need to approximate a little. However, we do know that Ivo Niskanen has started in 114 races, and he has won 7 times in the World Cup, resulting in a probability of winning of 7 divided by 114. And if we do the same with Carto statistics, we get 3 divided by 235. Now. Let's estimate that 1 in 20 athletes have a sibling in the World Cup. And out of 247 skiers, that is approximately 12 divided by 247. If these probabilities were to have an effect at the same time or after each other, then we multiply the three probabilities with each other, resulting in a simplified answer of approximately 1 in 26,258. That means out of 26,258 races, this only happens once, giving us a probability of 0.0038%. In other words, what we saw in Lenzerheide wasn't only great competitions, but maybe also the most overlooked moment of the 2022 season.